Hello everybody. In today's design thinking class, we'll discuss about empathy. We'll understand what empathy is and how important empathy is through a case study. So, firstly, what do we know about empathy? Thinking from others' point of view. Yeah, thinking from the user's needs. Understanding the user's needs, thinking from the other person's point of view. Any other definition of empathy? Feelings, desires. Understanding the feelings and desires of the stakeholder. Paying attention to the emotions and challenges of the people. Thinking from the user's point of view. Thinking from the user's point of view. As we all say, empathy is about understanding the problem from the perspective of the affected person or the experiencing person. So we can tell it is playing from the shoes of the other person as we commonly put it. Empathy is all about how you understand and how you look the problem from the point of view of your stakeholder or the user. So only when we understand the problem from the user's perspective, we will be able to come up with a solution that will be of real time benefit to our targeted user. So let us understand how this functions through a case study. Uh, do we all know something called Stanford Design School? So the Stanford Design School is a pioneer institution for design thinking globally. They came up with a challenge to the students titled Designing for Extreme Affordability. So uh, they gave their students an assignment of designing a product that will be affordable with people who are facing extreme conditions. So this project is also named as extreme to be easily understood. Right? So we have our uh, protagonist who with this team came up with, a, with an idea of designing a product for the people dwelling in the mountain areas. So what he thought was people in the uh, uh, depot villages of Nepal, they had majority of their children born prematurely and all these premature children, like almost 50% of premature uh, children died due to hypothermia. So after reading this problem, what he assumed was maybe because ventilators were expensive in the hospitals, these parents did not afford to get, uh, get their child to be ventilated and that is why children deceased for hypothermia. This is what Mr. Uh, Leanne and his team understood. So, had it been like this team stayed only inside Stanford, our Stanford with the value of Mumbai Agrami Vishuddha, the solution that they could have come up with would be a low cost incubator because they believed the Indians were not able to afford to incubation. The people living in the mountain areas of India and Nepal lacked the affordability to access incubators. This is what the problem that they identified. So, the obvious solution would be they would have designed the low cost incubator. But what actually happened was this team decided they will go to the mountain areas of India and Nepal and then explore to India. So once they came here, they started speaking with the doctors, healthcare professionals and parents and his children identified. They started interrogating why this problem prevailed. So what the common thing that they identified were the villages were located at a far distance from the hospital. Any village would be at least a 30 mile away from a hospital. So rather than travelling with their child for this 30 mile in the cold climate, parents decided they would stay home and protect their child. So that is why they did not come to hospitals, not because hospitals were costly or hospitals were not affordable. Affordability was not their problem, but the distance they would have to tra travel and the climate were their predominant problem. So this team decided they come up with a product which parents can use as a comfort of your home. They decided to come up with a product that will be portable, that can be carried easily across places, that will be user friendly, so that parents need not to travel this 30 mile with their children. So what they designed was embrace the product which resembled a sleeping bag. For a sleeping bag you can and the sleeping bag inspiration of action, they came up with a product by way of embrace. This product had a lot of insulation layers and it was chargeable. Uh, they designed the product in a way that it can be charged through electricity. And the charge will retain for over a 12 hour period. The child can be safely kept inside the embrace at an optimal temperature. They designed the product and they gave it to use through hospital. After the product came to the market, there was again a setback. When they again went back to the people who were using it, there was this one mother who told 
we indians have a common mindset that any english medicine is overdosed so even if the doctor gives one dose we will consume only half a dose so in the case of your embrays also if you want to tell us to use it in 40 degrees we would use only to 20 to 25 degrees because we believe what you tell is overpowered for us now the temperature reduce panni use pannadanalada maybe your product is not successful in our area that is why maybe your product is not uh, able to withstand the mortality rate of the chill so this team again we decided now what they did was they removed the temperature indicator and filtered an okay indicator what change do you think this would have brought in all the not color of the light that is one point but what do you think after introducing this color or after using this light indicator what do you think would have changed in the product So the parents will not be able to identify the exact temperature. So till the device is fully functional, till the optimum temperature is reached, they don't have an option but to wait. So after forty degrees, na forty degrees, mare ko the device will get heated up and it will serve its purpose the best. Again, the product is not to the market. What happened this time was there was again a decline in the product serving its purpose. Mare ko na liya dalu the product to fail out. the team again they have to reinforce it if you want to found out what severe peak with power cuts in the cases parents had difficulty in putting the device to charge so they started thinking about what can we do about it how can we design a product in a way that it will withstand this power so now what they came up with was a water bag a water bag bag that can be heated to the optimum temperature when that water bag is kept under the embrace the embrace will also get heated up Which in turn will act as a standby to the product. Electricity charge generates it. So for four to five hours standby power supply will be this water bag will serve. So now this product is very successful because it out uh, it outstood all the challenges that came by it. It was able to outstand the, the temperature indication. It was able to outstand the power shortages. And now this company became very bigly established as a company with ninety employees and almost sold three thousand products over one week, one year. In only one year, three thousand increases were shown. Plus, the WHO recognized this product and started giving it as an assistance to people who survived in extreme conditions. They are making this team a very successful design. So, what did you understand from this case study? That you want to understand that use of phosphor to even a entity not satisfy the user needs or product will not be successful in the. So first and foremost, we want to satisfy their needs and desires. Okay. So however good your product is, if your product is not going to meet the need of your user, this is not going to be successful. Then we have to do a market research. A thorough research gives a research or market research is important. Customer satisfaction. Satisfaction of our uh, user is very important. We can save the life of the children. We can save the life of the children if we empathize properly. Or the other one, I don't have any need. Because that I don't have the need to go meet my stakeholder. Is that right? No, no. Even if you have the need, you have to keep on doing it until your product becomes perfect. Even after your product is perfect and you launch it into the market, after two or three years, maybe the need of the user varies. So again, if you do not go redesign the product, your product will become a failure. Let us consider Anna. Anna came up with one version. After one year, it upgraded. It keeps on upgrading. How does it upgrade? To meet the needs of the customer, what if Android was not at all updated and still we had Android TK or Android everything? What would have happened? Some other versions of software would be. Other operating systems would have become more successful, and Android would not have been able to be there. So empathy doesn't stop as a first stage of design thinking, but it has to happen throughout the product life cycle. Then and then we have to do the empathy with our customer. We have to redesign our product. We have to reevaluate whatever we are doing. Only after continuous redesigning and continuously meeting the needs of the customer, we will be able to be in the market for a long time. So I hope this session would have made you understand how important empathy is and how important it is to keep on empathizing with our user. Did you all understand? Yes. Thank you.